Hi students, welcome to Guru Globe YouTube channel. In this video, you will know the important points on Indian position and extension chapter. So this chapter is from 10th Social Science Part 1 textbook. So chapter 1 and this is Karnataka State Syllabus uh, lesson it is. And let's see how the contents here. See, this is a one world map and in one portion I have drawn the uh, continents here. And all of you know the, the directions in world map. This is north and this is south and this is west and that is east. So four directions. And world map, we have taken this picture from the globe. Okay, so the globe means it is a miniature model of the earth. Globe is a miniature model of the earth and it is in a geoid shape. Geoid shape means so it is not complete circle. It has little bit of uh, surface at top and in bottom. So this is a geoid shape. And here, the entire globe is divided as into two equal parts for the study purpose. For the study purpose only. So here, the line which is drawn from west to east, west to east, to this upper portion is called to hemisphere. What is called to hemisphere? So, hemisphere means nothing but hemi means half. Half sphere. Sphere means no circle. Okay, half circle, hemisphere, that means it is. And this hemisphere, it is called as a northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere means complete portion. The above portion, what I am showing the line here, the entire portion. The uh, above side, this is what we call to northern hemisphere, and the same thing the downside portion is called to southern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Okay, so a line which is divided the entire globe as into two equal parts. So, so this line is called to equator. This is what we call your equator. So, equator is always considered or identified as a zero degree zero degree and uh, however we go upside as the degree will, degrees will be increased like uh, 10 degree uh, 20 degree 50 degree like that the degrees will increase the same thing that's are also okay and the same one downside also uh, uh, below zero degree as one degree five degree ten degree twenty degree fifty degree sixty degree like this so here Hemisphere, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, we understood. You understood. Then a line which drawn from north to south, north to south, and this is called a longitude. Some uh, of uh, some of them, they some people they pronounce it longitude, but now it is this is longitude. Okay. So, the left side of the portion, left, left portion of the world is called, is called as Western Hemisphere. Western Hemisphere. And the right side of the world is called Eastern Hemisphere. Eastern Hemisphere. Okay. So, see here. Our India, our India's location is found in Northern Hemisphere. Isn't it? This is Northern Hemisphere. Our India is found in Northern Hemisphere. So in Northern Hemisphere, again where? The exact, it means in Northern Hemisphere it is okay. But in which direction? As in Eastern part. Eastern part. Eastern part. Eastern Hemisphere we call it. Eastern Hemisphere. And again, the, uh, where, where it, it, it's uh, uh, position in exact uh, it is found in southern part of Asia continent. This is Asia continent. Southern part of the Asia continent. Okay. And there are some islands like Andaman, Nicobar, those are extended 
towards the southern towards the south and this is one point you should know okay next term uh, this is uh, the position what we see in the world level and what about its uh, um the extension and the neighbor countries let's see yes here the most northern point of india or the northern most tip of india is indra kul so indra kul is found here indra kul and the southern most tip of india is indra point indra point or pigmalion point we call it okay yes sir this is one thing and the western most tip of uh, india is it is uh, sir creek so sir creek is from here sir creek is located in uh, gujarat sir creek or uh, it is also called uh, rana of kutch rana of kutch okay and the eastern most tip of india is uh, kibi tu and in textbook some textbook it is given that lohit or lohit tu okay that is another one here so sir creek to it is western most tip and the kibitu it is in arunachal pradesh state so kibitu is the eastern most tip of india okay yes sir so, so here the question may be asked you which is the southern tip of mainland in india yes sir your answer should be that is kanyakumari mainland if the question ask you mainland then you should mark it as kanyakumari okay so kanyakumari is the southern main land tip of india and it is also called cape of camorin cape of camorin okay so these are the uh, uh, most tip of the india so this is one thing and here one one latitude is drawn here okay one latitude is drawn here so this latitude is called 23 and half degree 23 and half degree northern or sorry tropic of cancer it is called tropic of cancer 23 and half degree it is called tropic of cancer and it is passed on the india from west to east so this is one and the another one line is drawn here this is a 82 and half degree eastern longitude we call eastern longitude and this longitude is considered as a indian standard time and it is shortly we write it here iest indian standard time it is 5:30 gmt 5:30 gmt means greenwich meridian time this means here so india is uh, uh, in time it is uh, forward forward uh, than the greenwich to 5:30 hours 5 hours 30 minutes so that's the meaning it is so this is one thing okay and india is a seventh largest largest country in the world in area in overall area india has a seventh position seventh rank position and the first one that is uh, uh, russia second uh, canada third uh, china fourth uh, the fourth one that is uh, america fifth one brazil sixth one that is australia and seventh one india india okay so in overall of the world 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 our india's area is 2.42 percent is our india is in seventh rank in 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 area in large area seventh rank to and it occupies 2.42 percent is in entire okay compared to the other uh, compared to the other countries so this is one thing and next one the overall area of india 
in India, this is a thirty two lakh eighty seven thousand two hundred sixty three square kilometer. Thirty two lakh eighty seven thousand two hundred sixty three square kilometer. So here square kilometer means so square kilometer means so. So just uh, understand like this. A person is there. He stands here. Okay, a person is there. Stands here. And he walks up to one kilometer, up to one kilometer. Then again he turns right. Then walk one again one kilometer. Again he turns right and walk one kilometer, one kilometer. And again he turns right and again he walks one kilometer. So he walked four kilometers. Well, what he walked. Uh, To reach the, again his, de his destination, his destination. This inside of the area is called to one is considered one square kilometer, one square kilometer. So this type of India has thirty two lakh eighty seven thousand two hundred sixty three square kilometer. This is one. Okay, and from north to south, from north to south, the India's length. The India's length is that of three thousand two hundred fourteen kilometer. Three thousand two hundred fourteen kilometer from north to south, and from west to east. From west to east means from Circuit to Lohit or Kibito. Okay, so this length is two thousand nine hundred thirty-three kilometer. Two thousand Nine hundred thirty-three kilometer, and the coastal length, the coastal length of India, as yes, from Gujarat to up to Sonamuti, Sonamuti area, that means the West Bengal. This length is six thousand one hundred kilometer. Six thousand one hundred kilometer coastal length. Coastal length is six thousand one hundred kilometer. If we consider the Andaman, Nicobar, and Lakshadweep and other islands. So, The India means we if we measure, if we count that length uh, length, then we say seven thousand five hundred sixteen point five kilometer. Seven thousand five hundred sixteen point five kilometer. And uh, the overall length, uh, overall length from up, from here to as yes, up to that's what we measure, including islands. Uh, the total. Length is fifteen thousand two hundred kilometer. Fifteen thousand two hundred kilometer. This is one thing. Okay, and uh, the next one is that uh, India has uh, seven neighbor countries. Seven neighbor countries. Okay, so neighbor countries which are those? The first one that is Pakistan. In northwestern part of Pakistan is here. Pakistan. Okay, yes sir. A line which separates India and Pakistan. India and Pakistan means border line we call here. Okay, so border line. So this line is called Radcliffe. What we call it is Radcliffe. Okay, so this line means the border line is uh, identified or made by the British officer, and his name is that Sir Cyril. Radcliffe, the length in the length between India and Pakistan border length that is two thousand nine hundred ten kilometer. Two thousand nine hundred ten kilometer, according to Wikipedia, the given information two thousand twelve. That's all. Okay, so this is one. Pakistan and India divided by this is the border line. The between border line is there. This line is is called Radcliffe. The same thing. The another one is here. Afghanistan is portion is here. Afghanistan portion. Yes, sir. Afghanistan and India also separated by one line, and uh, that line we call it is uh, Durand line. Yes, that is uh, Durand line. So this line uh, it was uh, uh, identified means the uh, that line is uh, made by Sir Martimer Durand. Sir Martimer. Durand and the length of a border is eighty kilometer. Only eighty kilometer. Means 
Afghanistan has shared its very less length border with us that is 80 km only 80 km and the lengthy border is found between India and Bangladesh India and Bangladesh India and Bangladesh lengthy border is there do you know how, uh, how many length is there that is 4097 km 4097 km so this is one thing here the another one another one line is there that line is uh, found between china and india so this border line is uh, called uh, mac mahon border line mac mahon border line okay so this line uh, means uh, there was a, a geologist his name is that uh, sir henry mac mahon he uh, he identified it uh, and its length is uh, 2009 uh, sorry it's uh, 3488 km so this uh, information i have uh, uh, collected from the wikipedia according to 2012 information it is given and in uh, pus textbook also the government pus textbook the information given like this only okay so three uh, countries are sh uh, shared here Pakistan, Afghanistan, China. So, these uh, uh, the lines are we have now. Next, uh, Pakistan it is one, Afghanistan second, China is third, then Bhutan is here, Bhutan is fourth, fourth country. In this country also shares border. So, Bhutan is there, and Bangladesh is here, Bangladesh is five, then Myanmar is here. Myanmar okay this is the sixth one Myanmar sixth one sixth one is there and seventh one country that is Nepal Nepal portion is there. Nepal portion okay seven countries are the neighbor countries of India and one more country is here this country as it is Sri Lanka Sri Lanka country is here so this uh, India and Sri Lanka separated from Park Strait. P A N K. Park Strait we call here, and it is near to the the eastern tip of India. It is Dhanushkoti. It is Dhanushkoti. Other near it. That is what. So Nepal it has one thousand seven hundred fifty one kilometer length. It is. And Myanmar, that is uh, 1643 kilometer length is there. And there are 28 states and 8 union territories are there in India. 28 states means recent to the new state to, that is Telangana. So 28 states are there and 8 union territories. Now Kashmir is uh, that is. Uh, no longer as a state now it is a union territory and dadra nagar haveli diu daman are merged so now we call it is eight union territories okay so students in this uh, video i hope all of you know the important facts or the important points about this uh, chapter okay if you like this video please subscribe if you not subscribe please subscribe it and uh, click the bell icon uh, then you will get uh, uh, videos from us continuously whenever we upload it then if you have any doubts about this chapter you feel free to comment in the comment box okay share this video to all thank you